looks like a huddle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're preparing you for tomorrow. <laughs> Without commercials. You're not playing tomorrow? Oh, you mean the New York football giants? Is that it? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Do we have any Daryl Scott fans in the house today? Yeah, we love Daryl Scott too. And um, the way I met Daryl is pretty funny actually. I have a friend by the name of Bill Crutchfield. And this must have been 19, gosh. I think 94 maybe. Daryl had just moved to town and he was selling, he had made this cassette. Um, called Aloha from Nashville. It was just available on cassette. Maybe it might have been available on CD, but my friend Bill Crutchfield gave me this uh, cassette tape. And it was the album Aloha from Nashville, and I listened to it, and it's like, holy shit, well, who is this guy? It's like unbelievable. So then I got the CD, and I started looking at the credits, and every you know, I knew all these people on it. Sam Bush was on it, and Michael Rhodes was on it, and Roy Husky Jr. was on it, and all sorts of wonderful people were on the record, but the songs and the singing were just unbelievable to me. So, um, I've done this many times in my life. Um, I actually did this about a year ago, but I, with Derek Truck, but this, that's a different story. But anyway, so I wrote Daryl Scott a fan letter, because there was the address to his home on the back of this Aloha from Nashville, so I wrote him this letter, I'm not kidding, and it said, You don't know me, but my name's John Cowan, and I used to be in a band called the New Grand Three Bye Boy. I think you're the greatest thing I ever heard. <laughs> and he called me up. I, don't know, I think he got my number from Sam Bush, and um, then we subsequently played in Sam Bush's band for a couple of years, and Daryl and I got to be great friends, which is nice for me because I admire him so much as an artist and as a musician. And that's that story. Bye. <laughs> so anyways, I finally got up the uh, coconuts to ask him to write a song one time about it. And this must have been eight or ten years ago now. We wrote a couple, and um, I actually recorded this tune that we wrote together. And it's called, the title has nothing to do with the lyrics. We just, I just had a crazy title called Six Red Birds and a Joshua Tree. Um, and the, the lyrics are great to this song, you know, because Daryl contributed to the melody and the lyrics. But I can't tell you personally if it has one damn thing in the world to do with the title. So, for all you Steely Dan fans, just kidding. Ever tried to figure one of those out? I tried plenty of drugs to do that. It didn't work. Anyways, this is my tribute to Walter and Donald via Daryl Scott, bye.
gonna fret for 